Hello YouTube, Chris here. Today I want to talk to you about why you can't upgrade your entry level road bike. Well, the truth is, you can. But the real question is, should you? And is it worth it? So let's get started. What I have in front of you here is a Cannondale CAD Optimo. This is an entry level road bike, one that we sell here in the store. And it's a fantastic bike. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this road bike. For a beginner cyclist, you could buy this bike, take it out, do group rides. Heck, you could even race this bike. It's plenty capable for all those things. Now this bike, $849.99. And I'll tell you, if you walk into a bike shop and you have 850 bucks to spend, this is a fantastic bicycle. The reason I'm making this video is, I sell a lot of bikes like this. And the problem is, people come to me in a year, after they've tested the waters of road cycling, and they want to upgrade it. And they can upgrade it. But the question is, should they upgrade it? So let's dig in first to what's on this bike, what they're trying to accomplish, and what that entails. First of all, this bike is equipped with Shimano Claris. That's going to be Shimano Claris 8 speed, meaning two rings in the front, eight in the rear. It's going to be Claris throughout, Claris front derailleur, eight speed crank set, Claris rear derailleur, eight speed cassette, and a nice package with some wheels that are capable for eight speed. Now, most people get this bike, ride it, love it, get into the sport. And they want it to be 11 speed because they go to their group rides, they go do their races, whatever they're doing. And the people who are a little more serious, have been doing it a little longer, are typically riding 11 speed. <clears throat> so they figure, well, not too difficult. I just got to upgrade a few parts to change my 8 into 11. Well, a little easier said than done. Over on this side of the work stand, I have... Another Cannondale, this is a Cannondale CAD 12. A very popular bike, a little higher price point. This bike sells for $1,599.99. This is what most people are trying to make out of their $850 bike. It's got Shimano 105, 11 speed throughout the entire bike. So a little nicer build, more gearing options, a little wider spread in the gears in the back and a little bit more up to date with what modern race bikes are riding. Now let's go through why this is kind of difficult to do. Most people's belief is I change out that rear derailleur and that cassette and I'm good to go. Well, unfortunately that's not the case. Yes, you need a rear derailleur. Yes, you're gonna need an 11 speed cassette. That also requires an 11 speed chain. The chains are different widths. So you need a brand new chain. The crank set. Now if you were going from 8 speed to 9 speed, this wouldn't be a big deal. Or 9 to 10, you could probably even just change the chain rings on the crank set. Unfortunately, to 11 speed, the chain rings start to get a lot narrower in spacing. You'd need an 11 speed crank set. Oh, and the front derailleur, that just does 2, right? 2 is 2, whether it's 11, 8, 9, 10. Wrong. The front derailleur's got a different spacing too. It's wider, made for a wider chain, it's an 8-speed front derailleur. So you're going to need a front derailleur as well as a crank, chain, rear derailleur, cassette, and of course shifters, probably the most expensive component on the bike. These shifters are only 8 speeds, it means they've only got 8 clicks. I need 11 clicks, well 10 clicks I guess. So we have to replace the shifters too. So now we're talking shifters. Crank, front derailleur, rear derailleur, cassette, chain, and that's it, right? No. What about the rear wheel? This is a rear wheel with spacing for 8, 9, or 10 speed. 11 speed cassettes are much wider. So we need a new rear wheel. That's going to cost you. And most people don't just buy one wheel. They want a wheel set then that matches. So now we're talking basically replacing... A cassette, a chain, a rear derailleur, a crank set, a front derailleur, 
shifters, and a wheel set. Well, what's remaining on the bike? The frame, stem, handlebars, headset, seat post, saddle, and the brakes. Unfortunately, when a manufacturer builds a bike, they give you a nice sweet little package deal. And they put that all together for a nice low price of $850. And if you piece it out, it's a lot more expensive. So we're going to go through what it would cost to make this into an 11 speed bike. Okay, so let's break down what each of these components is going to cost and at the end what you're paying and what you're really getting. First off, shifters here. If we're going to replace those with a set of 105 shifters, that part's about $300. Now keep in mind these prices are kind of rough. I just pulled some stuff together here. You may be able to bargain hunt around and find stuff for less. But then you also run the risk of getting the wrong parts, the wrong cage length or derailleur, the wrong front derailleur, the wrong crank set, the wrong cassette size. There's a million things you can do wrong in this. If you don't know what you're doing, do it through a bike shop. Don't try to do it yourself. Next, we got our cassette here, 65 bucks. Our chain, another 40 bucks. And this is all for Shimano 105. Crank set, $200. And when we change cranks to a 105 crank, that bottom bracket isn't going to work because it's a square taper. So we need a new bottom bracket. It's another 20 bucks. Rear derailleur, $80. Front derailleur, $55. Wheels, well, that's a big question mark. You know as well as I do, you can spend as much or as little as you want on wheels. I'd say a good wheel set, you're probably looking at 350 bucks or so. For something decent that will at least work well and look well with what you uh, are putting on the bike. Now on top of all that, you gotta pay someone to install it unless you're real handy and real good with a bike. Labor doesn't come cheap. In my shop, I'd charge you 150 bucks to put all that stuff on. At the end of the day, parts, labor, to make this CAD Optima into a Shimano 105 bike, you're looking at 1,260 bucks total. Now, let's look at that. Yes, $1,260 is a lot more than you paid for the bike at $850. And it's getting pretty close to what you could buy this bike for at $1,600. Especially if you add it with the $850. Now you're well over that. At the end of the day, what are you getting too? You're getting a bike spec very similar to this bike. With a lower end frame, this is a lighter frame, a stiffer frame, a better frame, and it's a brand new frame. So if you were to reinvest some money and buy a new bike, you're going to do a lot better. Trade in this bike, keep it as a backup bike, do whatever you want with it, but taking that time and money to put into this bike to make it up to date with the other one, or up to spec, it really ain't worth it. For that 1200 bucks or so, Get a new bike, use this one as a backup, sell it, recoup some of that money, whatever you want to do. But when the manufacturers put together a bike, you know, it's real common for people to say, hey, well, I'll just buy the entry level and I'll upgrade it as I go. You used to be able to do that a little bit more when there weren't as many drivetrain options. You know, there were a lot of 8-speed, 9-speed, 10-speed. Well, as they've added more and more speeds, every level of componentry adds more speeds. So your Shimano Claris is eight speed. If you bought a Sora bike that's one step up, maybe for 950 or 1,000, that bike's gonna be nine speed. If you bought a Tiagra bike, which is two steps up, maybe 1,200 bucks, that's 10 speed. And then a Shimano 105, 11 speed. And the beauty of all of it, none of it's compatible. So upgrading these bikes is very difficult nowadays because you have to replace literally everything on the bike. The parts that you can save are minimal. The parts you can save besides the frame are really small potatoes compared to what you're paying for the entire group set. So something to keep in mind when you're thinking about upgrading your bike, you might consider just getting a new bike or when you go to buy your first row bike, this is why I often recommend people jump to that 105 level. Yes, it is more expensive, but in the long run, you're doing it right once 
and that's a bike you'll be happy with for many more years until you start to look at the next level bike, but that's going to last you more than a season. If you get into riding on this $850 bike, it ain't going to last you very long. You're going to want to upgrade. So hope that was helpful. Hope you learned something here. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down in the comments section. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to make some more similar to this. And thanks for watching.